This video is going to be just to cover a few points for um, any brother or sister, any believer in the Lord Jesus Christ to um, find themselves established or, or for edification to examine the things that I am offering here in faith. Uh, I'm going to cover a few topics and chop it all up and edit it later. So I've got. Uh, trying to redeem the time rather than keep I keep putting things off and I'll do it tomorrow and then I have this laundry list of things that I, I could have done yesterday that I still haven't done so um, for myself personally this is um, a lesson in, in my walk of uh, uh, temperance and uh, redeeming the time and, and putting put um, my focus into to the gospel, into the word, into uh, the gospel of repentance and salvation, and uh, through faith alone in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so this is for anybody who's um, perhaps young, a young believer, a new believer, even old believer. Um, just just to examine these things, um, I'm going to. I want to talk some things that I've encountered and it took me a while to understand what my other brothers were saying and um, I knew what they were referring to but I didn't, I couldn't as associate the language that they used because this language was up and running before I arrived and and if, if I was on the scene first I would have called it something else. So we're, I'm going to be looking at... Um, those who are established on the rock see I've put some little ball bearings on, on the holy word so those who perhaps are wondering or oh, am, am I the chosen am I am I saved am I a believer am I am I, or am I transgressing am I um out of the way a little bit um or perhaps you're not even uh, you're not on not on the rock so if that's you and you're unsure and you would like to be on the rock well you can be it's a matter of believing in in the truth and the word of God as it's established so if that's you I invite you to ask the Lord to put you on the rock and settle you on the rock so this is for anyone perhaps trying to settle on the lot uh, on the rock and 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 learn some understanding and that have come across uh, some being tossed around perhaps by um, false teachers false fat pastors uh, the clergy well you know it's it's so diverse the um, amount of apostasy in the world uh, and how to um, and and even in the in the body how um, traditional practice is continued and it, it's uh, it it affects it affects everyone that's um, looking to that person as an anointed uh, teacher in the Lord and and perhaps they well well maybe but they've um, they tr they've transgressed or they're in error. So it's it's I'm looking at just going to share what I've learned in in the most simple way I, I can put it, and and you're going to come across these um, terms and phrases. So I'm just going to write. Well, forget what what isn't. Let's look at what is. Let's look at what what the Word of God says now. So I'm going to zoom in on. Now I'm sitting over my camera, so I'm going to try and draw I've got this um Wi-Fi camera now the Wi-Fi switched off but I can hear that it's picking up code because I can hear the um, the bits and bytes going noughts and ones being received and transmitted so it's it's really annoying and it's distracting me so I'm gonna sit on the floor and just draw draw Excuse the shadow, my own shadow. Um, right, so let's put a, 
a vanishing point in there. So I'm going to draw just like a sword or a straight edge disappearing into the distance. We'll try my best to anyway. I'm not a very tidy drawer. So that, right, let's imagine that's the Lord's word. That's the rock. That's the the holy word and the gospel. That's the Lord's two-edged sword. And uh, believers are standing on the rock. And they're placed on the rock. It's nothing that they do. It's not what the how good they are or what they've done to get there. They they've been placed on the rock, like I showed you with that ball bearing. So what you are here in the, in the out out in the stratosphere of 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 the stage of the world, you're going to get these two overhanging contradictions. So let's put a let's put let's do that little evil all C and I, which everybody roughly knows what that means. You know, that's the the false truth, the uh, Gnosticism and the uh, mystery religions and the, the Illuminati and the Freemasons and the Jesuits, all up there. So all those dirty little fingers, all those dark, all those dark influences, those devices, and then we've got this we got this false balance that hangs over overshadows the believer and the, and the world to put the world hedging up the way and then down down this side we've got these false balance yeah. and on the left we what's termed easy believers and easy I can't spell believism easy believism and then we have uh, what do they call it <laughs> I like this one lordship salvation or right, lordship that means you be in the law you you know you saving yourself before you can earn any grace so lord and and once you're saved you you remain uh, you never sin you know you uh, oh, if you sin that means you can't be saved in the first place you've got this lordship salvationists okay and and both 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 of these teachings are biased so they're not they're way off the truth so they you know i've drawn a scale but actually in actual fact they're not they're not balanced they're unbalanced because that's the balance here that's true this is true this is counter true this is imitating what's true so we've got all these influences that creep into the into the body, and they come they come down through uh, either people um, up here in raising up um, you know that that crowd like a magnet to influence the easy believers and crowd, and then and then you'll get this other magnet over here, this other force, this other machination, and all the fingers involved raising up a, a lordship salvation crowd in you know in iniquity and then so if you're um in the neutral if you're you're lost looking for for hope and salvation this is what you're gonna these are the divisions you're going to come across and you're going to wonder well what you know what is the what's the word what's the faithful word and uh so I'm going to show you that what what easy believism teaches. Now it teaches that you just you're good to go if you just believe in Jesus and you carry on um, go. You know your life doesn't change. There's no repentance. There's no there's no change before and after you believed in Jesus. So you can believe in Jesus. It's like believing in an elevator taking you up to the penthouse suite. Now you might believe it takes you up to the penthouse suite but until you press the button and get in the elevator and go up to the, the the penthouse suite you're not really believing you're just you're not certain of your belief you could you know you might believe it the devil's belief 
but, but they haven't appropriated it. They can't appropriate it, but lost souls can appropriate it. So you can believe and not receive what has been given, what's been atoned for, what's been dispensed. So your faith is, is without fruit. It's unbelief. So that's easy believism. So you could, there's so many ways to come to that, but the teaching, the teaching is not teaching that. It's not teaching what the word says, and that's um, repentance towards God. That's a change of mind. That's a complete giving up of your own opinion and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to come to a, an understanding that you're a sinner and that you... Um, you need saving so you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and he saves you and then that will bring forth the fruit and it won't be that fruit easy believism you won't go stock if, if you were a person going going to work um, seven days a week and then in in the evenings you're just like spending a bit of time with your family down the, and then you're going down the pub that's and then you'll get saved and then you carry on doing that and then you don't see any any problem with that but you believe in Jesus um, that's not that's easy believism and that could be so many different types of lifestyle you know there will be a change and then there's the other extreme which is Lord salvation that that you you've believed uh, um, that you've uh, you're, you're suddenly uh, you're either chosen you're either you know the elect and you're you're saved and you've believed and you're saved and and then you carry on in your own self-righteousness without any again without any free uh, so it's almost like a, a self-righteousness and a, a and a, and this side is more like um low esteem people where this is more pride and arrogance and uh a lot of people on that side I've found that are are really proud. They're really they're heartless. They're cold. They can't they can't relate to the, the extremes. It's just that they are, and no one else matters. So, and I'm talking extremes here. I'm not talking about everyone in that that group because it's so diverse. It, it's the dot. It's what 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 stems from the original teaching you see and this come this comes from the enemy this comes from the synagogue of satan this comes from you know the uh mother of harlots of rome it comes from the jesuits it comes from all all that is again what is and all all the people in the world that are subservient or influenced or manipulated by this evil which is satan and he works through these these avenues, these left and right um, dichotomies, you know, to distract from the truth. So this is what people encounter. So that is basically, simply, the truth. That um, once you're saved, it's all in. You need to search the scriptures. You need to find yourself approved and the. The best books are the, the general epistles of John and uh, Peter. They are like the baby bales of hay and glasses of milk that a believer needs once they are saved. They need to start in those books and, um, well, to study all the books, but they're the most milkiest books for the where where a Christian would 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 start where they'd get um a review of what the safe believer goes through from an expert who's been through it and he would lay it down in a simple way to help you continue on in your belief. These on the other hand will destroy your belief. They will overthrow your belief. They will rob you of your your testimony. They will rob the Lord of your of 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 fruit. So you have to be careful not to fall or get swung, or you know knocked over and tossed around by these two um, opposing, you know Christian and it, these are Christian, you know so-called Christian, 
and it, and and it's it. Unfortunately, they're there. You know, the Lord knows that they're there, and, and He knows why they're there. So He's wise. That's why He's given us the scriptures that we can we can look and measure from the scriptures. Well, what's approved? What's the approved word said? And what do the approved people that have received the word teach? And then, and then what is, who are the heretics? Where, where's the heresy? Where's the transgression? Because in either camp, you could have baby believers, you could have um, transgressed people that are saved. Only the Lord knows what's in these people's hearts. But the Lord, what the Lord wants is for you to be focused on on your salvation and uh, uh, you know contending for the faith that was given unto the saints at the beginning. So I'm going to close there because my little dependent dog's crying to get in. So I'd like to close there in the name of our Lord and invite people just to. Um, not trust what I say, but trust what the Holy Word says. So if you're doubting, if you're wondering, if you've come across this and uh, you're looking for answers, the answers in, in the Lord and the Holy Scriptures, and I'll and close in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.